You are in for a treat because now we present to you a story written by Lemony Snicket and adapted by the Reverend Julia Hamilton. The Latka Who Wouldn't Stop Screaming, A Christmas Story. <laughs> This story begins in a tiny village, more or less covered in snow. The snow had fallen during the long night, during which children had pressed their faces to the windows, looking for a glimpse of a man who they suspected of bringing them wonderful gifts. But instead, they heard a terrible noise from a certain cottage in the neighboring area. A word which means here a place where something was being born. This cottage was already regarded with some suspicion as it was the only place not decorated with flashing colored lights at this time of year. The thing that was being born was a latka. <laughs> latka is a word which here means potato pancake. And latkes are a traditional part of the celebration of Hanukkah, a holiday commemorating a miraculous Jewish victory. Nearly everything in this world is born screaming. And the latke was no exception. Even though the latke wasn't conceived and born the way you and I were conceived and born. But instead, But instead was fashioned with grated potatoes, chopped onion, beaten eggs, and a dash or two of salt. Once these ingredients were properly mixed, the latke was slapped into a pan full of olive oil to heat it to a very high temperature, and this is when it began to scream. <laughs> The latke was suffering so much that it leaped out of the hot pan and out the window of the cottage and began to run screaming out onto the boulevard. <laughs> Now, this might seem like unusual behavior for a potato pancake, but this is a holiday story in which unusual things tend to happen. The latke ran past a row of flashing colored lights which hung from the rain gutters of a less suspicious cottage. What's, What's all these ruckus? We're the ones that are supposed to be dominating the neighborhood with our cheerful glow. I was just thrown into a pan of boiling oil. Can you believe it? Yes, but we can't imagine why. Because I am a latke. <laughs> the olive oil reminds us of the oil used to rededicate the temple following the defeat of Antiochus at the hands of the Maccabees. The oil was only supposed to last for one night, but there was a miracle, and it lasted for eight. Plus, the frying makes my skin so crispy and brown. So you're basically a hash brown. <laughs> Maybe you could be served alongside a Christmas ham. I am not hash browns. I am something completely different. <laughs> the latke rounded the corner and found itself face to face with a candy cane who wrinkled her red and white nose at the latke in distaste. I'm trying to sprinkle my air with my peppermint scent. Your mouth-watering smell, not to mention all that yelping, is spoiling the effect. 
my mouth-watering scent is what gives that cozy feeling to Hanukkah. It reminds us that things are better now than they were in 175 BCE, when some people were not allowed to practice their religion. In order to study the Torah, they had to hide out in caves. And when they heard Greek soldiers approach, they pretended they were gambling with a small spinning top called a dreidel. <laughs> Joseph and Mary hiding out in the manger. Someone should write a Christmas carol about you. I have nothing to do with Christmas. I am a completely different thing. <laughs> <laughs> the screams of the Lodka grew quieter and quieter as the pancake ran out of the village into the surrounding forest. Its utter fury was unabated. A phrase here which means the latke was still very annoyed at the objects to whom it had spoken. But it was quite tired, and so it decided to rest for a few minutes beneath the branches of a little pine tree. The pine tree was napping, but woke up at the sound of an object plopping down at its feet. Are you a present? Presents are pretty much the only thing allowed beneath me during this time of year. Uh, <laughs> presents aren't exactly a big part of Hanukkah. Well, there's nothing wrong with giving presents to loved ones, of course, but it's more important to light the candles for eight consecutive nights to commemorate the miracle of the temple and the miracle of victory, even when you're thoroughly outnumbered. So you shouldn't give up hope. Plus, Santa Claus. Santa Claus? <laughs> Santa Claus has nothing to do with it. Christmas and Hanukkah are completely different things. But sometimes different things blend together. Let me tell you a funny story about pagan holidays. <laughs> no. But before the pine tree could begin its story, a family came trooping through the snow, searching the forest carefully. <laughs> We shouldn't have waited until the last minute to get ready for the holiday. You shouldn't give up hope. Look. It's perfect. Beautiful. Such a marvelous shape. <laughs> and its skin is so crispy. This will be perfect for Hanukkah dinner. We can serve it with a topping of sour cream, applesauce, or even jam. Jam. I'll refry in oil to remind us of the rededication of the temple. Mmm, And the triumph of the Maccabees over Antioch. After um, hiding in caves all that time. Um, what was um, I thinking bringing this axe? Um, um, <laughs> the family strolled back to the village, walking past all the cottages with flashing colored lights and smiling politely at the candy canes until they reached their own home. The family took the latke into their home, which was warm and cozy, and sat down at the table. Which was lit with the flickering candles of a menorah, or Hanukkah, which is a branched candelabra designed specifically for the holiday. <laughs> It's very frustrating not to be understood in this world. If you say one thing and keep being told that you mean something else, it can make you want to scream. But somewhere in the world, there's a place for all of us. Whether you're an electric form of decoration, a peppermint scented sweet, a source of timber, or a potato pancake. On a cold, snowy night, Everyone and everything should be welcomed somewhere. And the latke was welcomed into a home full of people who understood what a latke is 
and how it fits into its own particular holiday. And, and then, then they, they ate, ate it. Und mir seinen alle Brüder, oi oi alle Brüder, und mir singen freilich Lieder, oi oi oi. Und mir halten sich in einem, oi oi sich in einem. Als welches ist nicht da, da kennen oi oi oi. Yeah, 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 yeah